Hello Mechatronics students, this is Andrew Dolan, and in this video we're going to be talking more about series and parallel circuits. But this time I'm going to have some light bulbs and some 120 volt stuff that we'll be experimenting with to demonstrate and really showcase the difference between series versus parallel circuits. So let's take a look at the equipment that I've got for this experiment. So number one, I've got a power strip over here that I can turn on and off. I have a 120 volt electrical cord that uh, just has the um, each individual wire exposed so we can connect some, some things up using wire nuts. Then I have three light bulbs and these light bulbs are pre-wired, a little bit anyway. So they've each got a black and a white lead on them and they are of different wattages. So I have a 100 watt, a 60 watt, and a 75 watt light bulb. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show what does this look like when it's connected up in a series format such that all the electrons are gonna to have to flow basically um, through this bulb and then we'll connect the wire so it has to flow through this light bulb, then flow back through this light bulb and back to the power source. So, um, to demonstrate this, I guess we'll just start making those connections using wire nuts. So, I'm going to connect the first one up here um, to my input source. So, we're going to go ahead and connect uh, the white wire from our plug to this. So, that's coming from our outlet or from that cutoff cord. There we go. Then, uh, the electricity is going to flow through this 100 watt light bulb and then through the 60 watt light bulb and we'll make that connection by connecting these wires here all right and then the electricity will flow uh, from this light bulb to the next light bulb all right there so they're all in one chain and then finally the electricity will flow um, through that last wire and back on out. There we go. Um, now technically any 120 volt system should be grounded so uh, this is on a block of wood so this doesn't really do it justice but we'll pretend that it does and I'll make a connection to ground over here. I don't like how that's working. I'm going to go with this square one instead. All right, again, not the greatest idea, but it's something. Okay, so at this point, um, again, what's what's happening here is, okay, the electricity's coming in from our power outlet and it's going in through this light bulb. Then the electricity has to go through the next light bulb, through the next, and then out. So it's going like so until it returns to the source. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we'll power it up and see what we get. So I've got the switch on the power outlet here. All right, and you guys can see uh, all three light bulbs are illuminated. This one's just barely, all right? You can just see the filament inside that illuminated. And there we go, those would be connected all up in series and you notice that the 100 watt light bulb is the dimmest, the 60 watt is the brightest, and the 75 watt is the second uh, dimmest. So let's take a look at the voltage drops across each of these. So I've got my multimeter and we'll set the multimeter up to measure volts AC. All right, get in a nice spot where you can see it. And we'll go across here and remember that in a series circuit, the voltages are all going to be additive. So if I was to measure the voltage from this point to this point, I get 23 volts. Okay, and the total output of this, you know, coming from our voltage source, this should be 120 volts, right? Measuring from the power outlet. So coming in, we have 120. This other next light bulb, is at 60, so you've got 24 plus 60, right? So that's 84 volts. And then the last bit of voltage, the 37 volts, is over here. So 
In a series circuit, the voltages are divided across each of the loads, and that's shown very nicely here with the 100 watt light bulb dropping the least amount of voltage, the 60 watt light bulb drops the most amount, and the 75 drops somewhere in the middle. So again, um, all of these voltages, 23 plus 60 plus 37, should be in the neighborhood of 120 volts. And here's one other bad part about a series circuit. Since they're, all the loads are connected in series like this, if one of them were to go out, all of them go out. Right, so if this light bulb burned out, this is like the old school Christmas lights, right? Where one of them burns out, you know, we're still energized, but one went out and it stops the whole circuit. So if all of the loads, and it has to have a continuous path, like nothing can be broken in order for this to work. So that's our example of a series circuit, and you can definitely see um, the disadvantages here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, unplug it, and then we're going to wire this up in a parallel configuration. So I'll just uh, break all those connections. So in a parallel, everything is connected directly to the source. So what we're going to do now is to take all of these wires and we're gonna connect all of them together. All right, so instead of going from one to the next to the next in a kind of a chain style, um, this is connected all up in parallel where each load is connected directly to the 120 volts. So the voltages should be the same across each of these loads at this point. So we'll give that a go here. I'll plug this in and power it up. Now what we're gonna see is that all the bulbs are way brighter. Whoa, <laughs> uh, tremendous difference between the two. In fact, this is absolutely killing my ability to show you the meter as the camera self adjusts, right? But uh, as I go across these, um, and because it's all in parallel, all of the voltages are 120 volts, and you'll just have to take my word for that, but that's the way it is. Yep, I'm getting 120 volts as I run my meter across each of those. Yep, that's perfect. Um, I also wanna demonstrate that in a parallel circuit, if one of the loads goes out, the other ones still keep working, right? So it's not dependent like a series circuit. There we go. So now I've loosened all of them up and the camera self adjusts, but you see the difference there that those are all wired up in parallel. So uh, each load is directly connected to uh, 120 volts and it's not, um, if one goes out, it doesn't uh, ruin the entire thing. So there you have it. Uh, that's a nice demonstration of series and parallel circuits. Um, series circuits are always going to divide the voltage and parallel circuits will always have the same voltage. So just another explanation of series versus parallel. So we'll catch you next time. Thanks.